So here's the parts before they go to uh, media blasting. And if you've ever done any of this, you realize that they should be charging more. Good morning. It's about uh, 7 o'clock in the morning here on Saturday at the hangar. Yesterday we took some parts to media. Uh, this is what they look like when they come back. Essentially, uh, just the way they left uh, General Motors. So, uh, as you can see, all the rust and crud has been removed from them. Uh, this is an example of what you really want to see. This is the driver's fender and it's nearly perfect. Uh, they're almost always rotten uh, down in the corners uh, where debris, etc., collects. This is common on all the GM cars or actually all the American built cars at that time. So this car's got some, just a little bit of repair that's gonna meet, need to be done here. Uh, but all in all, this is exceptionally uh, clean. The other fender, uh, not so much. And I had Tim, my media guy, uh, leave uh, this uh, putty etc in here uh, so that I could show you what it looked like so this is an example of what uh, poorly done body work looks like and the misuse of putty um, you can see there's a huge high right here and uh, I'm gonna grind this off to whoop huge high right here and uh, I'm gonna grind this off so that uh, to see what the kind of a mess lies below it and then up here this whole area uh, suffered from some kind of an impact uh, and it was really common uh, for them to uh, drill holes uh, right in the panel and then uh, there was a, a, a dent puller that had a tip on it that was essentially like a wood screw and they would screw that into these holes that they drilled and then it was a slide hammer and they'd pull that out so these holes are all going to need to be welded shut and then this whole area will have been stretched uh, from being damaged by the impact so that'll all have to be metal finished uh, with hammer and dolly files etc to get it very close and then we'll go back with a skim coat of uh, filler over the top now you can tell that this car has not been uh, rebuilt very many times because what you're seeing down here is brazing uh, and there's a little bit on the other fender as well and brazing was something that they commonly used in the 60s and 70s to do uh, repair work on damaged panels so we'll, we'll uh, cut all this out and uh, well depending on what it looks like uh, but we'll clean it all up re-weld it and uh, make sure it uh, is good and solid before it goes back on the car now this fender also has uh, damage up here uh, in the front where it, it suffered some kind of uh, injustice at some point. So um, a lot of shops would replace this panel um, with a new one. Uh, but I really prefer when, uh, to use original equipment on the car, particularly, you know, it came with the car. I'd like my made in america 1960 chevrolet to be as much made in america as possible i would prefer not to uh, put chinese panels on it that may or may not fit well and uh oh yeah by the way yeah thanks china for the covid because that's just working out effing great for everybody appreciate that so anyway this is going to be our starting point on these panels uh and uh we'll update you as we go along thank you